Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura, this is Starfish Corner, and I do hope that whatever holidays or engagements that you're celebrating, um, I hope that you have taken a little time for yourself. I hope you've had a very good time. I hope everyone has been safe and able to stay warm. Um, it's been very, very cold. Um, I sent out, I just sent out a prayer to the universe to please be with those who are not able to be warm. Um, just to lift a little bit, I know that sometimes we can't change everything, but if I'm putting out that energy and other people are putting out that prayer, perhaps the universe will work its own magic and make that happen. Uh, for the hat, I am growing out my hair. And as anyone knows, when you grow out your hair after it's been really short, um, some of the hairs will stick straight out. They will not lay down. And I had a loving dear friend suggest that I wear a hat. And I know that even on a video, um, I tend to focus on things like a spot on your face or something. So to prevent the focusing on whatever it is with my hair, I have taken to wearing this hat while in public or being publicly viewed. It's just better for the dynamics. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed during the year, who's commented, who's shared, who's um, sent me lovely emails. Um, I'd like to thank the people who sought me out to do private readings. Um, I don't charge for those. I basically just set up a private Zoom. Um, I, I, I don't feel comfortable charging at this point. Um, you know, it's just such a natural gift for me that I would be more than happy to share the messages and it's a way for me to pay it forward and raise my vibrations, hopefully helping someone else raise their own. This video is going to be a little different. I am not doing a three card pull. I will be doing a more in-depth three card pull, um, in a couple days with the Lightworker Oracle. And now we know that these cards are pretty in-depth and pretty intense and with the new year coming up I thought it would be more beneficial for us to take a moment take a personal moment for yourselves and kind of really think about what you want to get rid of what do you really want the universe to help you take out of your life what do you hope that the universe blesses you with or brings into your life um, very frequently during the day I'm like please take away what I don't need and bring to me what I do it's just a small mantra. Uh, sometimes that's good, um, but I will be doing uh, that Lightworkers Oracle as it near comes to the new year, the official new year when the old is away and the new comes in uh, because it's going to be a very crazy year. It is going to be absolutely crazy, like like as far as emotions, as policy, as, as things go on. And um, there are other readers who are making uh, predictions for 2023 and I suggest you see, seek them out. They're they're very good. Um, but I was going to do is just poke around, see who's what and how we can deal with what's coming down the pike. Uh, ideas or things you can do to shield yourself uh, from the incredible changes that are happening because the new is coming in. You know, um, this will past election showed that the younger people are finally stepping up. They are now more important than the old voters, no offense to anyone, but these young people, they're much more diverse, they're much more welcoming and accepting, and they're much more fourth density beings. Um, I think a lot of the children being born now are fourth density beings, and they will be better equipped to come into the new, just the new, where people power is honored, um, new forms of energy are honored, where the world just moves forward in a kinder and gentler place. And those people who are hanging on to the old are going to find themselves left behind uh, with really no space except small spaces for themselves. They'll go back to their enclaves um, where their sounding boards are. So I figured as far as the Lightworker Oracle, since it is such an intensive card reading um, and they generally are very poignant and give you a lot to think about, I thought I would give us all a couple days to just gather um, our thoughts. Focus on what you'd like to get rid of, what you'd like to bring in, what your hopes are for this year, what you'd rather not have a repeat of from this year. And what I would do 
is I would then pull the three cards because I always ask, what do you need to hear? What is my message to help you? What do I need to convey to you from the higher ups? And I'm going to be doing the same thing. So usually these three card pulls are for all of us. Now I do encourage those who have decks or pendulums or other forms of divination, um, you know, certainly make your predictions for 2023. If you're sitting down and going, well, what do I need to get rid of? You can list all the things that you would think and then use your cards or your pendulum to get a yes or no answer. Um, those who do use divination tools, it's a wonderful time to do so. Um, and that can better center you. But if not, I think the Lightworker cards will be much more effective with a much more focused and direct message for all of us. If I've given you the suggestion to kind of get your lists together and I certainly will do uh, the card pull from the Lightworker Oracle deck um, later this week, maybe when we're all a bit more focused, because right now it's that in-between stage between the regular, the gift-giving holidays or and New Year's. So it's kind of like this lull in the week. Everybody has to go back to work. Uh, you know, tomorrow, generally some people head off today. Um so you have a little bit of time to really focus on what you would like, what you don't like. And I will be back to say in the video, but otherwise, thank you from the bottom well, the deepest part of my heart. It is with grace and gratitude and privilege that I do these videos. Um, thank you for continuing to like, share, and subscribe. I send the billions and billions of the brightest blessings possibly to all of you. Please stay safe, take care of each other, be a little kinder, and I will see you in a couple days with the Lightworker Oracle poll. Thank you so much.